Welcome to this video tutorial on how to turn a photograph into a painting using Corel Painter Essentials 2. This particular program was included in your Graphire 4 box so you know after this is over you're probably going to want to get out and install it and try this out because it's a really a cool technique. Okay so we've got this Italian street. Uh, it was a rainy afternoon uh, no sunlight so you got you know none of those sharp sharp shadows and brilliant whites so it's kind of a nice nice photograph to do that with so the first thing we're going to do is clone the picture and we'll drag it down here and there we go now what I want to do is get rid of the photograph and just leave some tracing paper so I'm going to hit control A to select all and then the backspace key and up here is this little thing called toggle tracing paper so now that's it we can see the underlying image and we have the tracing paper on top so we're going to use a cloner to do this with and here's your cloners and there are five of them and I use camel oil uh, just because it gives a nice effect so we'll take that one and put it off to the side and check your color palette if your color palette looks like this it's not going to work you need to tap on the cloner so it takes all the colors on the tracing paper from the underlying image that's what's the Italian street okay so we're ready to go and what we'll do is just start painting and uh, you can see it's doing something here not sure what you can you can do short strokes you can do fast strokes you can do any kind of strokes you want you can pretend you've got a, an actual paintbrush uh, the object is to get it finished then you can look it over and see if there's some things you want to change so I'm doing this with the tracing paper on. I'll turn it off in a second and we'll just take a look at it and see how it's looking so far. Yeah, there we go. We got the lady in there. Our pedestrian. There, that's what we've got so far. So I'll just leave it off and we'll just finish this up here. And it's so nice to use the Wacom brush because it's pressure sensitive. I can go light and get a thin line or I can go heavy and get a thicker one. And you can see that it's leaving some brush marks in there in places and that's okay that's fine and as you press harder it gets more distinct as you press lighter it, it gets a bit more uh, blurry and we'll come across there and finish it and there we go and now I'm pressing harder and getting a bit more distinct but you can still see the brush strokes in here okay so there's our finished painting isn't that neat now I'm gonna do one more thing here we're gonna add a surface texture onto this and that comes from the effects menu surface control apply surface texture and here it is right there there was a couple choices we have I could use image aluminum so I could use paper but I'm gonna stay with that one um, the depth if I turn it all the way up and hit OK this is what you get not particularly appealing. It looks like an Etch-a-Sketch or something with uh, acid. So we'll do that again with this turned down a lot more. There we go. Now we've got some some brush strokes in there. Okay. There we go. And that's the finished product. And you can mess around with all those other settings. You can go back and do some more but that's basically how you do it. You clone the image, you, call, you control A to select all, you delete it, then you take your cloners, get your camel oil or whatever one you want and paint away. And you've got a painting out of the uh, out of your photograph. Now we'll look at the original. There it is. And here's our painted one. So I hope you've enjoyed this technique. If you have uh, Essentials too, go ahead and try it. It really is fun and it's perfect when you're using the Wacom brush. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out my site at www.the.graphics-tablet.com. I'd love to have you visit.